my lovelies welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me so welcome to the tutorial for this wrap which is going to be the Duchess wrap now last time we did the Queen's wrap today we're doing the Duchess wrap we're just working our way through royalty because again this looks just it just looks like it could be right so that is of course also a requested rep I posted this picture a couple of days ago on my social media and of course there was a request for a wrapping tutorial which I will be very very happy to do I'll show you how to do it and you will be surprised how easy it is surprised okay so of course this video as always is in collaboration with Rapunzel who has lovingly provided everything that is wrapping related that you're seeing here and I think beyond that we can just go into the tutorial because let's not wait for good things let's make it happen hi sweeties okay so welcome to the tutorial part for the duchess wrap and for that I'm wearing my Wendy shaper this one is the blonde one that is in the original stuffing or with with the original stuffing <laughs> okay so we're going to do this wrap and you will be surprised it's going to be super easy and it's also going to be elements that we already know which I always do because it just makes sense so I'm going to first of all use the Lakeshore <laughs> the Lakeshore Bliss stumbling over my own words it's just too hot <laughs> in my country all right so this is the Lakeshore Bliss in pink and green this is how she looks it's a beautiful pashmina really really nice it has like a subtle um pattern to it let me just get this a bit closer so this is how the oops <laughs> stuff falling apart here um this is how the pattern looks and then there is some fringes here in green on the other side same thing so that's how she looks okay so i'm going to put that down um sort of starting out like a regal wrap sort of let's just fold that in a tiny little bit all right so putting it down and then I'm not going to tie a knot behind my head I'm just going to cross over and then I'm going to sort of you know sort it out a little bit like this I'm always sort of flipping the the sides of the of the scarf inside so it looks a little bit more tidy I guess okay so shaper <laughs> go away all right so now I'm going to just bring it up and I'm going to tie a knot but if you have space if you're using a bit of a bigger shaper and you have a little bit more space or if you're using a smaller scarf that is like a less impact scarf volume wise then try to like push it a little bit towards the back so you have some room here okay so my idea with this wrap I'm just going to like flip it like this okay my idea the original idea with this wrap was that I wanted to have like um like a headband like um I don't know it just reminded me of like being a child and you know stuff like that so I wanted to have have that and um, that's what I'm doing so for the second scarf you can of course use whatever you want I'm going to use the sari scarf in green which looks like this <laughs> this one leans a little bit more blue but they are all different as you all know okay so I'm going to sort of take it at the halfway point and I'm going to put it down like right here in front of it okay something like that and I'm going to again cross over like this and now I'm going to just sort this out a tiny little bit here you can of course also do that immediately just so it looks a little bit more like nicer because that is basically how it's going to stay so I'm loosely sort of crossing them over you know like this and now I'm going to bring these up and I'm going to tie a knot right behind here like this okay so we are still sort of here at the high point of the shaper now if you're doing this with a smaller shaper you'll have to try maybe you have to just downsize in the scarves that you're using but it should definitely work okay so now I'm again I'm using these two and also crossing them over like this and now with these two I'm going to just tuck them away towards the sides okay let me just show you like this Thank you. 
Now, if you're using something that doesn't have fringes or those the floppy ends from the sari scarf, um, you might have maybe an easier time, but it's also like that. It shouldn't be a big deal. So this is how the Duchess looks today. <laughs> All right, so ooh, you can even like do it like this. You know, that could also be really nice. Anyway, I'm going to just tug it away, but you know, you know, you can play with this and like do whatever you want. And then the final step is that I'm going to pull out this just a little bit and like poof it up, you know, both of those. Like this is the knot here and then this is what came out to the front and this is what came out towards the back. And both of them I'm just like gently pulling up a tiny little bit and like poofing them out. And that's what it is. That's all there is to it. I told you, it's going to be super, super simple, right? Okay, so I hope this looks good. I'm going to turn around and show you. This is one side. That's the other side. And that's the top. So that is it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Okay, I hope you did enjoy. Let me know what you think. Of course, please feel free to check out the Rapunzel website for stuff that you would like to use. If one of this is not available or if you have them, just play around with whatever you want. It looks best, according to my opinion, of course, it looks best when there is one scarf that is a little bit more like monochromatic, like in this case, it would be, of course, the Lakeshore Bliss, which also, of course, has a very, very gentle pattern, uh, but it's not like super bold in your face. And then something else that is super patterned. I think that looks so, so good like that. Um, yeah, but you play around and please don't forget to tag me in the pictures that you're uploading on social media, because I definitely will want to see if you want to if you want to show. <laughs> All right, so that is it. Of course, if you do want to order something from Rapunzel, feel free to use my discount code, which is Queenly Aura in all caps in one word, which will give you 5% of your order and it is affiliated. Besides that, I hope you did enjoy yourself. I hope you do enjoy wrapping because for me, I really feel like it is such a such a well of, of creativity, what you can do there. And like even just now playing around, I feel like there are at least two more wraps with the same idea that I could like do, you know? Um, and I love that. I love it when it is like this. And maybe sometimes we just have to uncover the creativity a little bit and just play more, you know? Don't think so much, just play more. And then it just comes, you know? So that's how I see it. So with all of that being said, I hope you did enjoy yourself. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And if you're watching this on the Rapunzel channel, then please subscribe to Rapunzel as well. You'll see me on that channel in about a week's time. And on my channel, you'll see me tomorrow so uh, that is what's going to happen and I'm so glad for everybody who is here so up until next time definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye